Here's an interesting release from Arrow Home Video. For those who enjoy the Japanese gangster films, Yakuza films, we have a set called Graveyards of Honor. It's basically two films, an original and a remake of said film, entitled Graveyard of Honor. The original is 1975's Graveyard of Honor from director Kinji Fukusaku, and then we have the 2002 remake from director Takeshi Miike. The original film from 75, I believe based on a true story, could be wrong, uh, is about this gangster who basically post-World War II works his way up from being like a street thug to, you know, high up in, in the Yakuza hierarchy. And it's it's basically this guy just being a total louse and, and beating a lot of people up and, and, getting, and getting women heroin addicted and who still love him for some reason. And, and just causing a lot of havoc. I didn't really uh, enjoy this one that much. Personally, my own failing, I had a hard time keeping straight who was who. It's a, lo a lot of names being thrown around and a lot of guys who had the same haircut and dressed similarly. So it was, uh, it, it, sometimes it's hard for me to separate. I have the same problem with some of the, um, some of the older samurai films where it's just, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it'd be easier if it was dubbed. I don't know if it would be easier if, 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 I don't know what it would be. Just occasionally I have a hard time just keeping the characters straight when you're, you're, they're talking about people who aren't present a lot of the time. Um, I didn't really care for this one for the reason of confusion, which is my own fault. And um, a lot of times when there's action, it's just a lot of yelling and, and camera shaking, which I don't love. And uh, it just didn't, I mean, it was compelling in terms of the, the dramatics and the brutality were certainly very effective in the music and in the time and place where it was set, but it didn't really, didn't really grip me. Good extras on this. You get a video essay by Mike White and you get some trailers. You also get a, an archival interview with the director about his films, which is kind of cool. So that's on one disc. The other disc is the 2002 Takashi Miike remake, which is, I, I found much easier to follow. I found it much more compelling. The acting is really good. The, um, just the narrative flows. For me, the narrative flowed a little bit better. Um, it's not a straight remake, it's, it's, but it's a similar story of, of a guy who works himself up through the levels of the Yakuza. Not a nice guy. <laughs> Not a nice guy, but does is able to maintain a relationship uh, with a female. Uh, as per Mikkei, it's much grosser and more uh, edgy and extreme than the original film was. There's so much heroin in this version of the of the story, and uh, it, there's a there's a moment I don't want to give away because it's kind of the climax of the original film and it's kind of the bookend and climax to this movie. But there's a moment of violence that in the original is very gruesome and a little over the top. Well, kind of a lot of over the top. And um, what I had, I, like, I had to rewind it and watch it a couple times because it's impressive how they, with practical effects, they achieved this really gruesome moment. Naturally, in the McKay version, <laughs> Let's just say you take the amount of blood in the original and you add about 10 more buckets to that. It's just like, it's, it's like ridiculously over the top in that moment. But, you know, it's McKay, that's, or, sorry, it's Mikay, that's what he does. Uh, <clears throat> I hate to offend folks by pronouncing anybody's name wrong. I, I just, I was, when I originally learned about Mikay, um, the friend of mine who talked about him and introduced me to him, Matt, uh, produ pronounced his name a certain way that I've since been corrected on, and I've since heard in all these extras, so I try to be, I try to be accurate about that now. This disc, again, has a bunch of extras on it. You've got a Tom Mess, M-E-S, uh, commentary about the film and Mikkei. You also have a Cat Ellinger video essay, and as I've said elsewhere on, on, in my reviews, Cat Ellinger is like the Dick Miller of, of video supplements on Blu-rays. If you see Cat Ellinger's name on something, you know it's gonna be good, and it's, her presence makes things better. Uh, you have archival interviews with cast from when they were making the film. You've got, it's loaded. This is a loaded disc. So if you're a fan of Mikkei, this is certainly a package in, in the, on, a, on the whole worth picking up. But also if you um, <clears throat> are a fan of Japanese Yakuza movies and, and like me as, as a film, it sounds pretentious to say scholar or historian, let's say fan. Um, I, I, in general, in the modern era, I'm not a fan of remakes, but it is interesting to watch a film and its remake side by side and see how does another director handle the same premise or material? What do different generations, you know, you're talking about 1975 and 2002, so how do those two eras approach the same material? What of the modern era's sensibility comes through in, this, in the remake? 
it's interesting. So a little remake double take to, to quote something that uh, these guys deal with. So it's an interesting package for fans of Takeshi Miike, I would say, or of uh, just Yakuza and Japanese film in general. It's a really nice package as Arrow always does. The transfers look great. The extras are voluminous and enlightening. And uh, I think it's worth picking up if you're a fan of this sort of thing. So out now from Arrow Home Video, we have Graveyards of Honor.